and then you can get your script out. This is a uh, Second Ezra 7 and verse 43. It says, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come, wherein corruption is past. And that's. So like you know, I was about to say, the day of doom is talking about the destruction of America, man. All right? Which, which involves the thorough nuclear missiles, man. Okay? Which involves America, aka Babylon, to be destroyed, man. Okay? The second death. All right? So you got guys now believing that the second death is, is, isn't going to happen to America now, man. You see that? Because they don't believe. They don't believe the power that Yahweh Shimon is going to do to this place, man. All right? Go ahead. This is Jeremiah 50 and 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder, broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken. O Babylon, thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught because thou hast strived against the Lord. That's right. And how do they strive against the Lord, man? By putting up that fake image, by demonizing the brotherhood. But these people on this side, man, say that we are, we are not the people, okay? And that's why the Lord's going to destroy this place. That's right. You got something else? Yeah. This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince who standing for the children of thy people. Right now, you got to be specific. It's talking about the Israelites, but the Lord is only coming back for the elect of Israel, man. That's right. the people that Michael is going to stand up for, man. All right? Because you got wicked ass Jake out here who don't care about y'all by no. You got Jake's out here who know they're Israelites, all right? They still put their hand in the, in the, in the devil's pocket, man. All right? They got their hand in the devil's pocket, pocket to go against the brotherhood, man. To go against your own nation, man. All right? Yeah, this is uh, a quick precept just laugh, laugh back on something you said. This is Hosea 1 and 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured, nor number. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be, shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. That's right, man. Then shall the children of Judah, but since they sons, all right, and the children of, of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land, for, for great shall be the day of Jezreel. Uh, see, and, and you know what? That, that's the spirit that's happening, man, because Judah and Ephraim are coming together, man. All right, we got we got brothers over there in, in Kenya, and what they're talking about is throughout the whole nation, I mean, throughout the whole planet Earth, man. All right? That's another unbelief that these other um, uh, uh, niggers don't believe in the truth because we're going to have other uh, brothers out of other nations, man. And some Jays don't even believe that the Northern Kingdom is supposed to be a part of their state, man. Black power and the Mongols. Right, right, right the Black power is like, like the uh, elder is talking about, man. But see, I, all of this is prophecy. You heard what the first scripture was, man, about prophecy. All this is must have come. All this is to happen, man. That's how we know we're in the last days. You know? Right. It says, uh, and there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. So you, you think about all the, the riots that ever happened, all the earthquakes that ever happened, the tornadoes that ever happened, man, all the up the uprisings. It, it's going to be a, a, a devastation time, man. All right? 10,000 people may just drop their head. They may just... Uh, bomb a city or something. Look at the London Tower. A lot of shit, a lot of things is gonna happen in this place, man. All right. So that's why us men up here standing strong for the for the name of Yahweh Hashem Shot, man. Because we we fear what's to come. All right. That's why when you get if a brother can't get uh, First Thessalonians, I mean four four or five, when it says uh, we need not write unto you, but we know very well the time, man. Okay. First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians 4 and 5. Not the uh, 5 and 1. Yeah, got you. 5 and 1. First Thessalonians 5 and 1. What are the times and the seasons, brethren? Ye have no need that I write unto you. Right, so it says the time and the seasons, man. It's different seasons for things. We are in the season of basically the RFI deep ship. Okay, right. we're in the season of World War III. Right. right? We're in the season of the, uh, the whole 12 tribes coming together. All right, we're not in the season of folly. All right, we're not in the season of, of joy and happiness, man. All right, Th these times are scarce, man. 
These times are serious right now. Dangerous all right? Times. Dangerous times. You see brothers is being accused of uh, persecution, man. This much, much needs to come out, brother. You can finish that. This is uh, this is uh, uh, Acts uh, uh, 15 and 25. Uh, point is in 26. And it says, It seemed good unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, men that have hazarded their lives mm. for the name of our of, of our, our power of our Lord and how was shy Hamashiach. Alright? Hey, so like you said, this is this is a dangerous time. And and we have hazarded our lives to do this, man. And you got brothers being false witness, Esau doing uh, false flags, and it's just a matter of time before they try to pin one on us. Yeah, because you know Esau right? has something called the Red Force Blue Force Tracking. Alright? So the the the, the, uh, the, the red tracker is basically all the people who's coming up against the American government, man. So basically, what, what we're doing right now is treason. So what do you think that they're, they're going to try to come and do to us, man? They're going to try to come and kill us off. But they have to have an angle for it, man. Because they know that this is the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Shah. Alright? That's not, that's not, they at least know this, man. This is not undeniable. So they got to try to set up different agents and they call them coups. They got to set up different coups to try to come and infiltrate to stop the work. They know they can't stop it, so they got to do what? Shut us up. Okay? That's why it's, it's hazardous, man. This is a, a deadly time to be doing this work, man. You know? Right, like they want, they want to do what they did to Noriega. They want to put him on the payroll, and then he's a bad guy, and then come right back and get him. Right. This is a quick precept. This is uh, Galatians 2 and 4. It says, in that because a false brethren unaware is brought in, who came privately to spy out our liberty, which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that they might bring us into bondage. See, and this is our liberty, man. We are free to do this, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh Mashiach Mashiach. They're spying out the, the, the righteousness of what we're doing. You know? And that's why these agents is being set up. Okay? You got some uh, uh, This is a. Uh, First, Thess First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But at the times and the, and, and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right, it comes as a thief in the night. Uh, when, when folly is on our all time high, like it is now, okay, you got all these different demonic shows, these, these sports castings. Every, you see, every sport, after one ending of a sport, Another one uprises. Yep. So they keep you in, the, in this folly, docile state of mind, man. You see that? They keep you in that folly, docile state of mind, man. All right? This is uh, Second Ezra 9 and 1. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, so it says measure the time energy. Don't you know that Esau is actually checking these records, man? And, and one of the key things that happened was the men of the Lord stood up and, and, and declared their nationality, man. That was one of the measuring sticks that, that let us know that it's time for Yahweh Shemel Shai to, to come back, man. That's why the scripture says, 1 Corinthians 4 and 9, for I set forth the apostles last, all right? And for the last days, the end times. And then this place will be destroyed. Jeremiah 28, if any brother can get it, go ahead. Right, this is wisdom. This is wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, verse 6. And if prudence work, who of all that are that are is more uh, is a more cunning workman than she? And if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. For she, talking about wisdom, yeah. teaches temperance and prudence, justice, fortitude which are such things as man can have nothing more profitable in their life. Right. Verse 8, if a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old and conjureth aright what is to come. She knoweth the subtilities of speeches and can expound dark sentences. She foreseeth signs and wonders mm. and the events of seasons and times. Hey, that's the breath of knowledge, man. That's the breath of life that the Lord gave unto his men. And you, the, the brothers said, prudent, the, uh, I can't think of the, uh, the, the, the the Greek word for prudence, but it means a foresee, to foretell. That's what the word prudence means, man. So to have that prudence and wisdom, you have to be what? You got to be a prophet, all right? 
And, and that's why Esau is scared because the prophets are here now, man. All right? You want that 28 and 8? Yeah, come on. Uh, this is Jeremiah 28 and 8. It says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. And, and that's what we're doing, right? War, evil, and pestilence. War, World War III is on the rise, man. Evil, the destruction of Babylon, man. Okay? Pestilence, the diseases that the Lord is going to use the so-called white man to push out and, and, and commit, um, uh, uh, how do you say Mass it? Mass murder. Mass murder. Mass murder, which he does all the time. Which he does all the time, he, he, man. He, he, he a drug Yeah. yeah. Con, or whatever. Yeah. Con, he's the yeah. professional. Yes. Yeah, kind of, yes. or, or the CDC, the Center of Disease Creation. Yep. That's right. 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 He saw, man. They created all Yep. But everything is balanced, man. The Lord did that because the Lord is tired of this fucking place, man. All right? The Lord is tired of this place, man. You know, one thing I noticed, you know, when you're in school, the food system, they never tell you that each empire, the Greek empire, the Roman empire, they never told you that it was prophets prophesying against that fucking, against that place, man. You know? They never told us that it was, it was uh, uh, in school, they never told us that it was prophets in the Roman Empire declaring the downfall of Rome, man. All right? Or in the Greek Empire. It was always prophets in each age and time to declare the downfall, man. And this is the last fall, man. All right? So it makes sense all the prophets are back. That's why it makes sense, though. The prophets are all back here. Yeah. You know? Real quick precept, man. This is Matthews 24. Because this is the touch on what the brother was saying about the wars and measure the time diligently. This is Matthew 24 and verse 5. It says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. Ye shall hear, ye, you sh ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So the Lord was letting us know he was giving us that measure, so this is how you're going to measure when I'm going to arise, man. And if you're, if you're a spiritual man, you will understand that this is the time, man. There's no doubt, you know? And, and see, that's why Esau's mad, and then you got cool niggers, or I'm going to say niggers, all right? To, to, to be set up, okay? They get set up so the, so the men of the Lord won't do, do, what, do what they're supposed to do, okay? When you go to, uh, what is that, John 1146, you get that? Because they know, all right? These sellouts, they know that uh, the men of the Lord begin with the apostles, man. All right? They see the miracles, man. The miracles is all the camps all over the world, man. That's right. All right? The miracles is what? The, the 12 tribes is coming together. That's the miracles, man, right. that we're prophesying about. All right? We're going to have brothers who may look like a so-called white man. But the whole point is the miracles that's happening are undeniable. Yeah, uh, it says, uh, this is John 11 and 46. It says, but, but some of them went their way to the Pharisees and told them what things Yahushua had done. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we? For this man doeth many miracles. See, they knew, all right? They went, they went to the devil. Like, okay, we got to formulate. We got to formulate because he's doing a lot of miracles. He's outshining us. That's what Nate, we're, we're outshining Nate through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, man. We don't need to go to different places to, to get to get fruit, man. So these other camps and these other false groups, they know that through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai is, is, is through great millstone. Go ahead. God. And it says, um, <laughs> if we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. You see why they got to set up, set up agents? They got to set up agents. Okay, right. to start speaking different doctrines. Huh. The whole page is about nothing but GMS. That's it. No edification, <laughs> no scriptures, no <laughs> breakdown, no history, nothing. No exposing GMS Esau, nothing. no revealing of, of Esau, the Edomites, no history, nothing, nothing edifying. Every video is about GMS, man. If that ain't, ain't sending up a, a big break, but you know what though, numbers are starting to shrink because once again, they're becoming irrelevant. Hey, even, yeah, man, even the same gospel cycle, at the, at the end it loses its gas. Right? Yeah. Especially when it's founded on nothing. Just People gotta, like controversy, they want to see proof. He you know? just, he he just got a long lasting day. And they can't do nothing against this truth but make it grow, man. Just, right? like, just like when uh, the Israelites were in Egypt, it says the more that they afflicted the Israelites, the more that they grew. So it's the same sense, and then to add on what the brothers are just speaking about, 
it, are we not coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai? Was there not false witnesses against Yahweh Shai? That said he's a good, some said he's good.